Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Monday. It's our Monday launch video. Now, let me share. The first thought I was going to have was somebody here at the church said, hey, let's not worry about growing the church. Let's concentrate on building the kingdom. And that's an incredibly wise and very discerning word. I think sometimes I, as a pastor of a little church, kind of sometimes focus on what do we do to grow the church? People come, people go, and, you know, there's always a level of frustration with that, if I could be totally honest with you. And I just love the thought of, hey, what, let's just build the kingdom. Let's not worry about building the church. And I can embrace that, and we can run with that. So that was going to be the first launch. Hey, let's build the kingdom. Let's not worry about all the other things. Let's be kingdom-minded, kingdom-focused. But I also want to switch it just a little bit. We've talked about the fact that you live in a broken down house. If you've been around, uh, we've kind of used that analogy. We live in a sinful, fallen world, and it is our job to, well, accept the fact that we live in a broken down house, because that eliminates a lot of our frustrations and dismay when we see the world doing what the world does. But you might not think of it, but you are a home remodeler. We are here to remodel the broken down house that we live in. So whether you think about it as building the kingdom of God or whether you think about remodeling the house. Now, as you might know, we bought a house last year and it needed a ton of work and we're not done. There's still a lot of work left to do. And uh, you can get comfortable living in a house that's not completely finished. And we are there. We got pieces of trim. We got exposed drywall and, you know, it's got some stuff that needs to get finished up. And um, you get comfortable living in, uh, in a house that's half remodeled. And, and let's not be so comfortable. Um, we just kind of, we get numb to um, the stupidity of the world sometimes. And we get numb to the lies. And we get numb to a lot of the things that need to be transformed and remodeled. So there's our launch. That's the launch thought. What can you do this week to remodel the broken down house? And again, that's not just, we need to be kingdom minded, obviously, but that can be a little bit overwhelming. So this week, the next five days, what can you do to spiritually remodel your home? Uh, you know, what can you do to usher in uh, more of the kingdom, righteousness, peace, and joy? Um, if you're curious about what that looks like, you know, shoot me an email and, and I'd love to have a conversation. And I'm at giving it hotmail.com. It's probably the best way. Or if you got my number, text or call. Sometimes people text me their thoughts on the, <laughs> the videos, which is fine because no one's ever complained. But anyways, but um, yeah, what can you do to remodel your spiritual house? And in so doing, you end up actually remodeling the broken down world that we live in. So. All right. Take care. God bless. Bye.